Today we bring to you six car manufacturers in Africa by Africans. Know that this is brought to you in no particular order. Most of the cars bought and used by Africans are imported and most are second-hand, carrying huge import duties that typically double the price, making them more expensive than new cars sold abroad. The African automobile industry is intensifying its craft in vehicle manufacturing with made-in-African cars, giving the Germans, Japanese, Britain, American and Chinese leaders in vehicle manufacturing some competition in the local markets across Africa. Africa has literally been a dumping ground for foreign-used automobiles. According to Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing CEO, we are not second-class people that should only drive second-hand vehicles, which is absolutely correct. Before we continue with this video, kindly subscribe to our channel if you're new here. Also turn on our notification to always get notified each time we drop a video. Stay tuned. Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Nigerian-born entrepreneur Innocent Chukuma is the founder and developer of Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company, Nigeria. They are the first technology company to manufacture cars in Nigeria. At the moment, Innocent Motors is one of the biggest car manufacturers on the continent, having sold 10,000 vehicles since inception from its plants in Inewi to customers including the Nigerian government. So far, it has produced luxury cars, minibuses, and trucks. Innocent cars are already on sale and in use in Nigeria. It produces a very wide variety of cars and because of this, it is able to attract the patronage of the Nigerian government. The model that caught the most attention in recent times is the IVM G80, which is a look-alike of the famous Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. Kantanka Motors Kantanka Cars is an automobile company that was established in Ghana in 1994 by Dr. Ing Kwadu Safu Kantanka. The Kantanka produces both salon and four-wheel drive. The company also has SUVs which includes the Nkonindi and the Kantanka Opaso. There's also the Kantanka Onantefu 4x4 pickup. At the moment, some Africans are already owners of this proudly made in Ghana car. They are on sale in variety of colors and models. Kira Motors Kira Motors Corporation is a state enterprise in Uganda established to champion the development of the domestic vehicle value chain for job and wealth creation. So far, they've succeeded in developing Africa's first electric vehicle in 2011, Africa's first hybrid vehicle in 2014, Africa's first solar electric bus in 2016, and Africa's first diesel bus on 21st February 2021. The Kira Motors Corporation journey dates back to 2007, evolving from an extracurricular activity under the auspices of Makerere University College of Engineering to a university curricular activity and later a mainstream national initiative for automotive manufacturing. Birkin Motors Birkin Cars Limited is a South African based car manufacturer. The company's specialty and only currently produced vehicle is the S3 Roadster, a kit car copy of the Lotus Super 7. The founder and owner of the company is John Watson, a descendant of pioneering race driver Tim Birkin. The South African-based automobile company started business in 1982 and can be said to be one of the oldest in the industry. The car is sold in various parts of the world including the United States, Japan and across Europe. Birkin Motors is known for quality classic reproductions. Laraki Manufacturing Laraki is an automobile company founded in Morocco by Mohamed Laraki, a businessman and car designer in 1999. The Casablanca based car company started operations by manufacturing yards and later moved to the manufacturing of luxurious supercars. The first car it produced is the Laraki Fugura and that was in 2002. The car was powered by a Mercedes-Benz engine and makes use of the 1991 Lamborghini Diablo chassis. Borac was its next car, followed by Epitome, and from then on, the company has kept growing and evolving. Its 2013 Larky Epitome concept is sold for $2 million. It has a V8 engine, 1100 horsepower, and a top speed that is estimated at 175 miles per hour.
Nord Automobile. Nord Automobiles is a Nigerian automotive manufacturer founded by Ajayi Uluwatobi in 2017 with its headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. Their establishment was born out of the need for a remarkable made in Nigeria automobile brand. Nord Remarkable model, the Nord tank will compete with fast selling trucks like Toyota Hilux, Mitsubishi L200, Ford Ranger, Leopard CT7, and Innocent IVM Carrier 4x4 pickup trucks. Their fleet of Nigerian branded vehicles include the Nord Max, Fleet Bus, Asso Truck, Lasgidi Big Bus, Q3 Sedan, Q5 SUV, Nord Yan, Ben SUV, Urban Sedan, and more. Mobius Motors Founded in Kenya in 2011 by Joy Jackson, the first generation Mobius 2 was launched in 2015 with the next generation released in 2019. Mobius uses the slogan, designed for Africa, built by Africa. Mobius Motors released the first batch of their low-cost vehicles towards the end of 2017. The multi-purpose vehicle, which cost about $10,000, was manufactured for Africa's mass market. Mobius Motors are designed around Africa's common road terrain and transport usage. The Kenyan company that took up the audacious task of producing low-cost vehicles for Africa's off-road and rough terrain increased production of a newer, more advanced model in 2018 after an optimistic reception of its pioneer model. Wallis Car The small but powerful Wallis Car is manufactured in La Massa, Tunisia. Founded in 2006, the company is known for building of affordable, reliable and powerful 4 exports despite the size of its vehicles, which are similar to Suzuki and Skoda. Two brothers, Omar and Zed Guida, set up the company with the idea of making the vehicles sporty, colorful, off-road and more environmentally friendly, as well as trying its hands on international off-road motorsports. According to reports from 2014, the company sells over 600 units a year for €15,000, predominantly in Africa and Middle East but also as far as Panama and Europe. They plan to start making electric vehicles in the nearest future. Thanks for watching up to this very moment. Kindly like, comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.